we still hurt. Huh? We still hurt, Coach. You know, you get a certain age, it comes with sound effects. <laughs> you know when you get up. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> What's the one injury that still lingers to this day? Uh, I think the rotator cuff. You tore it? About 25, 30 years ago. Probably about 30 years ago. <laughs> Yo, it seems like most punchers tear their uh, shoulders. It's, it's a boxing injury. Like most orthodox fighters tear their shoulders. Like it's a boxing injury. Like most orthodox fighters have the left rotator cuff. Southpaw, the right rotator cuff. Oh, sure. It doesn't happen to everybody, but it happens to a lot. I mean, and it wasn't like I wasn't was throwing it right, but, you know, I don't know. It just. One day it was hurt. Found out they had a slight tear. We it, but the injury reoccurred. So from just from just time to time, or is this a consistent ache throughout? No, it's not a consistent ache, but you know, it's with age. You're gonna have little aches, even, even if you're not doing anything. The best thing to do is keep moving, because the more you slow down, the slower you're gonna become. How old you are. Did you ever have hand problems? Like, you know, some fighters. Um, have... I had hand problems, but not from punching. <laughs> I used this one as, 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 as a defense. Mm. And it, uh, it was opened up, so it had to be put back together on the roof. You can't see it as good now. It's, it's really old, so it's... Uh... <laughs> when did you stop fighting? When did you stop fighting? Well... I worked for like five years, but at the time it was a section of women fighting for me. And um, training, sparring, I wasn't able to fight. I got frustrated. I walked away. The coach came and got me uh, about a year or two later. Come on, let's go train these fighters. <laughs> and uh, that began my career. As a, as a coach, I got real serious with it probably around 1990. Around 1990, I got real serious about it. Now, going through that eighth career and you watching now women main oh, event man. at Madison Square Garden, what does that feel like? You know what? Um, when I came to the coach, I said, ah, I'm going to lose this weight. And I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a try. I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to roll the dice on this fight. And 18 months into me training, I lost the gang of weight. I had to get this surgery because I have, I have one of the hips now. So that. <laughs> so I'm ready to do it. And even though I was in my 30s, I was like, I'm going to give this a shot. I got down on weight, but now I can't perform because I couldn't run no more. Is that, does that come from years of running on the concrete, like doing road work? No, mine didn't come from that. Mine come, came from some other medication. You know, doctor gave you something for one thing and... Then it hurts another. But um, I can walk. <laughs> I still have my knowledge. Experience so, you know, for the last 30 some odd years, what, what is it? 35 years, 33 years, somewhere in there. That's the serious part, but uh, I think probably in the about 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, Never look back. Never look back. No need now. I know I can't do it. <laughs> so, but the aches will be there, you know. And then being a female and a senior, uh, wrestling around with these guys had to change. <laughs> I still do it every now and then. I get because I'm a rough girl. From time to time, I get the urge to uh, get in there and rough it up. But I gotta remember. 65. <laughs> like, is a dog always a dog? Always. Always. What advice would you give to the uh, female fighters that are now coming up or now headlining shoes? Oh, man. Keep shining. 
put the work in. Uh, this, you got a good team around you. Make sure that team stays strong. Put the work in in the gym. It will shine in the ring. Take it, take it as far as it can go. The sky is not the limit. It's past that. Let's let the women shine. We need it. We need it. And all the they coming out. Boxers, coaches, cut women. You know, uh, referees, judges, ringside officials. Uh, officials, we need all of that. We need the women. Women love boxing as much as men do. So we need them to, you know, get it out. When you hang up the gloves, maybe you can reach back and become a coach and help. I know everybody's not built for coaching, I know that. But I'm sure there's some after, you know, after that. Thanks, coach. I appreciate it.